It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Watley's Brewery and it's a can of their sarcasm citrus pale ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. There's a look at the label on the can. It's got like an emoji feel to the can. I really like it. It stands out. It stands out in a very crowded crowd these days. Uh, there's so many different craft brewers out there these days. So it's all about getting your marketing right, standing out from a very, very busy, busy craft beer crowd. And I think their, their designs, when you line the cans up together, they're gonna stand out. They really are gonna stand out. I'll show you what I mean later on, but I wanna get into this beer. I'm rather thirsty tonight. So we got a, a three finger white head, slightly hazy beer, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. I'd say it's an amber looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, most definitely a citrus pale ale. And it, it, it's got a, it's an orange can. And I'm immediately picking up some tangerine. A nice slightly spicy kind of peppery tangerine aroma coming through. Maybe a touch of lime in there as well. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, really, really nice beer. Very light, very drinkable, very refreshing. Biscuit malt comes through at the beginning. On the back end now we're getting a nice subtle bitterness, I would say, with some nice orange and some lemon, such a lime, some grapefruit in there. But it's all very balanced. Nothing's kind of, it's a bit like a hand glider. You know, if one of the wings on a hang glider was too heavy, it would be kind of flying like this, wouldn't it? This is just balancing nicely, floating through the sky. Nice bit of sweetness to begin with on this wing, nice bit of bitterness on this wing, just to balance things out. It's not kind of tearing in this direction or tearing in that direction. It's all very much in keeping with the, with, with the different flavours and the different kind of the style of the beer, this, this lovely pale ale, it's all kind of in a nice, nice packaged kind of circle of flavour. And I like that. I do like that. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's pretty good. It's like... It's like a, like a light biscuit malt, it's like nuttiness in there as well. Good quality malt used in the beer, good quality hops. Stone the Crow's beer, a Stone the Crow's beer, sarcasm, citrus pale ale. What are the breweries saying on the can? Uh, yeah, that's right, read the side of the can, mate. Yeah, I will. Don't you worry, I will. Um, there'll probably be some hipster guff about how this is the perfect fruit. Pardon me, fruity, juicy, blah, 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 you know? Uh, thirst quenching, citrus, freaking pale ale uh, with a surprising subtle sweetness, no doubt. And a yes, the orange finish, ya de ya de ya. So, see, told you so, I roll. So, I, basically what they're saying is if you're, if you're used to drinking pale ales, an American style pale ale, I will add, being citrus. You've probably read numerous labels on the side of bottles and cans about how hoppy this beer is and how much grapefruit or flavours are, are added to the beer and how, how much it kind of casts a net of flavour all over the world. And again, like they say on the can, bloody, 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 bloody. We've all heard it before, yeah? Um, I really like this, um, it goes very well with their lager. I, I was going to show you, uh, I was talking to you earlier on about a very busy crowd on the on the supermarket shelf, or maybe not just the supermarket shelf, but your local bottle shop. You can, you can go in your local bottle shop these days and you can maybe come across maybe, I don't know, a hundred different beers, and you need something to stand out. So, 
Look at these cans. It's kind of got that emoji feel to it. Uh, they most definitely, most definitely stand out. I would say. It would certainly, if I was in it, because I like colourful stuff anyway. I'm a bit like a magpie. If I was in a bottle shop and I walked through the door and I'd go, ooh, they look new, what are these? And then I'd more or less, i I'd more than likely grab them and just chuck them straight into my my hand basket to buy them. So rating for Sarcasm Citrus Pale Ale. I really like it, it's a Stone the Crows beer. Uh, good to see Watney's back, back brewing beer again. Uh, very nice to see a brewer that's been brewing beer since 1837 back. Uh, yeah, producing good stuff. So I like this beer. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please go out and try it. Please comment. Please subscribe. If you like what you see, if you like the video, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.